Hi everyone, and welcome back to Body Haven Soaps. My name is Darlene, and I am the owner and creator of Body Haven Soaps. And on this channel, I share recipes, techniques, information, um, and I try and help other creators out. Today's video is going to be a little different. I'm not sharing a recipe with you, but I think it's important that you guys know who I am. So, and how I got started into making soap and body products and stuff. So I just want to connect with uh, my subscribers who I greatly appreciate supporting my channel. Um, you know that we all have our goals and, and this is one thing that I've taken on and, and decided that I'm going to uh, make work. Um, so thank you, I greatly appreciate it. All right, so where did I get started? Well, in the beginning of 2018, um, I had no idea I was going to start a company or get as involved into this as I am. It started out as a small project where I was trying to create something that my grandkids could use. So I have a couple grandkids and uh, when they were younger, um, they all had um, skin irritations, both of them. Um, and the youngest one was the worst and even baby soap like the Johnson Johnson or the, uh, you know Aveeno all those baby soaps that are out there um, unfortunately they were getting skin irritations from it not everybody does but they were having issues so even bath time uh, they would get hives and itchy and it just made bath time horrible for them um, so me being me and you know I'm a need to know kind of person um, I started doing some research. I'm trying to figure out how I can help my kid, my grandkids, okay? Um, and through that research, I found out a whole lot of information about the products that we buy in the store and the difference between artisan products um, and how we can change things and what the properties of different oils are and what they can bring to a soap bar. Um, and so that is where it began. I started small batches of trying to create soap. Um, of course, after I would create them and, and dry them and things like that, um, all of us adults would use them. You know, I'd be giving them out to all the kids and, you know, because there's 12 bars in a loaf and everybody try it before we get too ahead of ourselves. And uh, then I came up with the recipe that was perfect for my grandkids. Um, and I continued on from there. And then, you know, by giving out all of my products as I was making them, the different soap bars and stuff, I started absolutely with just soap. And I did it specifically to try and find something that my grandkids could use without getting hives and rashes and all of that kind of stuff. Um, but then I gave them out to people because I had so much, so many bars of soap. I started giving them to friends and, and family and, and everybody just loved the product so much. Um, you know, and everybody gave me that support. You need to start making these and selling them. You need to, right? And then I'd have people request certain products for me and then I'd, <laughs> I'm the need to know kind of person. So I would do the research and, and I would create something and I would have people try it. And I just found a lot of enjoyment in that. Um, people appreciating, uh, the research and the time that went into making these products. Um, and it just kind of exploded from there. Um, and I mean, I started out doing this in my kitchen and now in my basement, I have my own specific soap room. I have an office. We actually renovated the basement to fit it in here. Um, my husband actually just redid all, I used to have like a kitchen table in here I used to work on. Now he's made proper countertops that are a better height. Um, I invested in a camera. You know, I started YouTube with my cell phone, um, you know, because I wasn't really sure whether I wanted to do it. Um, and then I decided, you know, I'm enjoying this. I like sharing information with other people. Um, so that's where my YouTube channel started. And now I've invested in a, in a better camera and I'm learning more. Now, my past before becoming an artisan product maker, um, I was a paramedic for 17 years. Um, and then I got out of paramedicine just from high stress. It's a pretty high stress job. And I started instructing. So I've been instructing for 15 years. Um, so teaching people is something that I've, I'm good at. I've done it for over a decade. Um, 
And when I first started doing this channel, I started, you know, by videotaping what I was making, those types of things. If you go back and you look at my old videos, I really sucked. And that's okay, because we all start somewhere. And I don't feel bad about it. Um, and none of you should feel bad about it. We all have to start somewhere and we, we build and grow as we learn. Um, you can tell from my videos still to this point, I have a lot to learn. Um, but I'm getting there and that's the main goal is just to keep improving. You don't fail at something until you quit. So as long as I keep going, I'm not failing, I'm learning. So, and that's the way that I look at it. Um, but I realized that I'm really good at instructing. Um, and I realized how much research and time I had to put in to get all of the different information between oils, additives, products, um, where to get my products uh, and my supplies from as far as shipping costs, as far as quality of products, um, things like that. So, I mean, overall, there's a lot of information to obtain. So I decided now, as you can tell, that I've switched my channel from just videotaping me making products to helping other people learn to create. So when I make my videos, I share my recipes. I don't have a problem sharing my recipes. Um, we all have to start somewhere and you may not like exactly the additives that I'm putting in my product, but you can change it um, because lots of those things are interchangeable and that's something that I want to teach um, so that you guys can create what it is that you're looking for. And that's kind of the purpose of this channel. I want to help provide that education, um, the different oils, uh, shelf life of oils, products what products can be subbed out for other products if you can't because not everybody can get the same products in the same country so we have to understand where we can sub things out so that's kind of the goal of this channel is to keep moving forward and helping spread information um, and I, I'm going to continue doing that um, because I'm enjoying it right I like to succeed at stuff I like challenges um, and this is a challenge for me because teaching and instructing in a class where I have actual people that can ask questions and, and you know, challenge me at my job is, um, it's, it's what I enjoy. So there might be live videos coming up in the future just because I like the interaction. If that's something that you guys are interested in, make a comment below and I can look into starting to do one of those a month or something where we can have questions and answers, um, that type of thing. I'm now going to put my email address uh, down in the description box below. So if you're struggling with something or you need... Um, a question answered or anything like that, you can email me and I'll be able to get back to you that way. Um, we do have the comment box below and you can absolutely comment down there. That's fantastic. Some people feel um, they don't want to, there's no such thing as a bad question, but some people feel like it's a silly question to ask. There is no silly question. So um, some people won't comment in the comment box below. I've got some feedback um, as far as that. So I'd like to change that up and I'm going to provide my email address um, for my company and I will get back to you um, to answer your questions the best I can um, if that's something that interests you. If there's something that you would like to see on this um, channel, let me know. Um, send me an email, comment below and it's something that um, I can look into, do the research for and I can absolutely um, put that on my list of things to do. I have a lot of videos coming out um, with different products, recipes, um, tips, tricks, oils, products. We're going to start going over products, um, oils and additives and preservatives and colorants and all those types of things and which should be used for what, uh, what qualities these types of things. I'm really into the herbs and natural products so infusing oils and things like that is something I do a ton of and I absolutely love it. Um, I just love the natural qualities of the herbs, so that will be coming up. Um, I'm just going to show you quick before we end this video. I went down uh, to the coast this last weekend, so I actually stopped at Voyager Soap um, and I picked up some new ingredients to 
try and formulate some new products, some natural oils mostly. Um, this is just the VersaGel. I'm going to work on a lip gloss um, with um, some great properties to it. So that's something that will be coming up in the future. I picked up um, a couple extracts. Um, chrysanthemum extract, papaya extract, and chamomile extract. So these are something, um, once again, really into the natural stuff. So this is something that will be incorporated into some of my recipes. I have some plans for these coming up. And then I have, well, I went and I got some more argan oil. Um, you guys have noticed that I don't, I will buy the oils I use a lot of in large quantities. I won't buy new things I'm trying to work with in large quantities. Um, it may or may not work into my formulation. Um, and all oils have a shelf life. That is a video coming up, shelf life of oils. It's important to understand that. So that's something coming up. So I did buy a whole bunch of samples of different oils um, just because I want to try some new oils and add them to my recipe. So you can see that I purchased these all in smaller bottles. The reason I did this is because these are trial batches um, and all of these oils and uh, they're all going to have a shelf life. And when they have a shelf life, um, they only last so long. So especially when you start getting into the specialty oils, the shelf life can be quite short. So I have to be mindful of that. If I go and buy a big bottle of this seaweed extract and I don't use it all because we wouldn't use this in large quantities, um, it's going to go bad and it's going to be a waste and it's going to be something that I can't use in my products. So I don't want to buy large batches, especially if I don't have a recipe for it. And once I have my formula for it, how much am I going to use in this time period? And once it's in my product, I also have to remember that that shelf life continues. So that is something that's coming up, our shelf life of oils. That's a video in the future. So if that's something that interests you, um, that will be in our future, okay? So I got some seaweed extract, just to quickly go over these. I got some rosehip oil. I've used this before. Um, but I have a new formulation that I'm going to work on. I got macadamia oil. I have cucumber oil, amyl oil. We have olive leaf um, extract, pumpkin seed oil, which is a really good oil, uh, evening primrose oil, camellia seed oil. We got pomegranate oil. We got red raspberry seed oil, okay, uh, St. John's wort oil, we have cranberry seed oil, we have uh, sea buckhorn oil, and we have oat oil. So these are all specialty oils, um, and I bought the little sample ones, they're not too crazy, um, depending, some of them are more expensive than others, you get into um, Let's see. I mean, so let's see the prices on this one. So the seaweed oil, you guys, it was only three dollars and twenty-five cents, um, and this is one ounce. But then you have your pomegranate oil, and it was six ninety-five. So, I mean, they're, depending on the oil and how uh, expensive it is for them to process and stuff, and um, some of them are going to be a lot more expensive. This uh, pumpkin seed oil, um, it's 4.2 fluent ounces and I got for 365. So that's a little bit more cost effective. Um, when I buy my products, another thing that I look at is to make sure all my products are sustainable. Um, I don't use stuff that is going to hurt the environment to the best of my ability. Um, hence why I'm getting rid of plastic containers and I've gone to the biogradable um, seal wrap. And things like that. I'm trying to lessen my footprint, uh, my carbon footprint in the world. So that is something that I am working on and you'll hear me talk about that a lot because I do encourage that. Um, but anyway, so these are a, a lot of the oils um, and we will be going through some recipes with these. 
Um, there's going to be trials and errors and once I do have a recipe done, um, I will uh, definitely be bringing that to you guys. Um, and we'll go over these oils in another video on what properties uh, certain oils bring. I like to go over in all of my videos what properties oils bring or ingredients that I'm adding so you guys have a clear understanding. All right, so for today's video, you guys, um, that's who I am. That's how I got started and um, I'm hoping that the people that do subscribe to my channel are finding the information helpful and I, my YouTube videos are getting better and um, I greatly appreciate all of the support. All right, so the next video that I'm going to be doing, guys, is going to be on my clarifying shampoo bar. All right, and uh, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate your support once again and uh, have a great day.